history makers, an archive of 5,000 African Americans who made a difference. There's something everyone can appreciate in these stories. It's about education. It's about our legacy. It's also about telling our story and about correcting American history before it's too late. Tonight, we are here to promote and raise funds for this very important initiative. Tonight, we are going to take a look at the history and the impact of the phenomenon known as hip hop. The art of autobiography is at the heart of the History Makers Project. Nikki Giovanni's earliest memory of me is as a young child in need of a babysitter. It is such a pleasure for me to be here tonight. When the History Makers asked me to come from Johannesburg to do this, I didn't hesitate one minute. This material that we're doing now, the History Makers, we do this in part to make available to Spike the material he needs to complete his education. It's very important for people to have a sense of place, you know, a sense of belonging, a sense of history of where they came from. People go from Harriet Tubman to Martin Luther King, you know, and the same names being mentioned over and over again. And yet, I would talk to people and I would hear these wonderful stories about their families or people that influenced them, names that were not in the public venue as much. We actually interview people for two, two and a half hours, and uh, we ask them to bring a photograph of themselves and we have them marry them. With the advent of new technologies, these archives will be searchable by image and text. And there was what is known as the Old Bunch Plantation outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. We have a very strong educational initiative to really bring this history to life and for people to see uh, these stories, you know, and these people. But our goal is really to record this information, and we say that this is America's missing stories, that uh, American history really won't be complete without this information.